Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with this puzzle here called Dual Dial. It's made and designed in Great Britain by Potentially Perplexing Puzzles. And it's actually the first puzzle of Potentially perplex Perplexing Puzzles. <laughs> A wooden puzzle box that you need to open up and release the task of the puzzle. Find your numbers. You will learn later what that means. I know it already because unfortunately when I recorded this review after solving this puzzle during copying it on my hard drive there occurred an error on the SSD and then all data was lost. Very unfortunate since um, this is, was actually a great solve I think. It took me around 27 minutes to solve this puzzle, find my numbers, but this recording is unfortunately lost now. I decided to still show you the solution of this puzzle, step by step, how this puzzle need to be opened up because I think it's still a great puzzle and I still should show you how this thing works. So a review style that is actually like back to the old days and presents you only the solution of the puzzle, no solving progress, just for you to know. The puzzle itself is made mainly out of wood. Unfortunately, this puzzle cannot be opened and I can't have a look inside how this exactly works. I have a rough understanding, I will explain you later after spoiler break, but mainly it's made of wood. You can see it's slightly shiny, you can see this here on the surface and I really appreciate this appearance because this is how I prefer my wooden puzzles to look. And cubical shape, two dials up here, one can be rotated, one is rather fixed and these four dials or things in the front of here. A strange looking metal insert down here and a hole, a mysterious hole. <laughs> Something that looks like a cover back here and another cover that looks uh, is placed like over here. That's it. And the rules that come in with the puzzle are no external tools, no banging, no spinning, absolutely no prying. And after the spoiler break, I'm gonna show you the solution step by step, how you solve the dual dial. Okay, so how is this puzzle solved? I cannot explain to you exactly the inside as I mentioned earlier, but I can explain you how it's done. When you start solving this puzzle, you will notice after some time, you can rotate. This one you probably will notice pretty much in the beginning. You can slightly lift it, yeah, like so. At some areas, you can lift it even far further. So it's like, this far over here and this far in another place one or two places which doesn't really help you but it it helps to confuse you let's, let's say it like this and the second one is kind of hard to rotate and if you do so you will notice this one can be screwed off you will probably find this immediately in the first minute or so and then another thing are those dials here this is a red herring, this is a red herring, this is a red herring, so, or let's say like a thing added to confuse you. These are solid. I discovered basically right from the beginning because you could see some slight marks here of glue. Yeah? And they give you some more confidence that those must be locked. The only thing that's movable is this one and can also not be rotated. It has nearly zero free play, but it can be pulled out like so. Okay, and these are like the dual dials. This one, however, and you're all waiting for it, I know. <laughs> you can screw in this threaded insert here. Doesn't matter how much you screw it in, but if you screw it in, you can use this as a gripper, as a grip to pull it out. It will come out like so. There is a magnet on it, so it will definitely snap back if you pull it back. You will find out it will interact with this one. You can see the movement. And this one doesn't really interact with anything. However, now starts the solving process because now you have everything together to be able to solve the puzzle. Before that, it's basically impossible. You need to rotate the puzzle. This puzzle cannot be solved by just manipulating on these two dials. You need to rotate the puzzle to solve it. Okay, the first step, and this is what takes some time to figure out and make it basically costs you the most time on this puzzle to solve it. The first step need to be executed in this orientation means you need to pull this out and pull this one out to a certain position and I expect I cannot hear it but I can kind of feel it 
I expect that there is a pin dropping from this shaft over here into this shaft down here. You will feel it or you will instantly notice it because something, at the, if, only if you are at the very right point, you need several repetitions of the solving process to, to know where this point is exactly. It will come into a condition that this one is now fixed. I cannot put it back in anymore. But over here, I can now pull this one out, okay? And this results in a lot of fiddling back and forth and so on. Um, and another thing you will notice then next is that you can at a certain position, if you pull this one out, also pull this one out. So there is an interaction between this one and this one. And if you pull this one out, as well as this one, you will be able to rotate it to a certain point. And if you are at this point, there's some slight resistance. It feels like a hard stop, but there's some slight resistance. And if you continue to rotate, this will happen. Which is a pretty cool feature. And actually it was, and it will give you this metal stick. Huh? This metal stick. Any idea what I can do with this? Any idea? <laughs> so it works by a disc. This push out effect, it works by a disc that is positioned here. So you can, so if I rotate in the other direction, this will switch back. Now we have two propelling magnets. I cannot get this thing in again, you see. And if I turn it back, this disc will switch the magnets as right now, and you can get it back in. You can put, put the thing now inside here, but it will not help you. It will not interact with anything. So something is still, Missing <laughs> a well hidden additional tool in addition to this one to be able to open the puzzle up, which actually is this lid here, by the way, that need to be opened. And to find this other tool, I will proceed in the following way. I need now to leave this thing outside as it is before or as it was before. I need now to leave this dial here in the outside position. Very important. Then perform the same move as I did it before with dropping the pin, but other way around. Means I need to drop it back into this one and fix this one. Which is kind of difficult to find because you need to, let's say, go back one step, but leave this one in the upper position. If I do so, and again, some fine tuning is required here, then I can move this one out again. Like so, but this time I cannot only move it out in the same length as before. This one is fixed again, by the way. I can now pull it entirely out and it, it will release another metal stick, okay? In my case, I actually found this one first. Interestingly, this one took me longer to find, even if it is actually along the path to, to be able to get this one out. But this happens if you fiddle around, I guess, okay? So what to do with those two sticks? You got the point? I mean, you're watching a puzzle channel, guys. Okay, so here we go. This one inside, this one inside. Now cannot get completely inside. And if I push it out now, this happens. I will open up this lid of this potentially perplexing puzzle and get this one out again. The puzzle is solved. By the way, the target was find your numbers. And these are my numbers. Unfortunately, I, I <laughs> tried to, let's say, define my number by doing this. But how, but how to read a dice like this? <laughs> Completely confused about this one. Probably it's the side that's pointing upwards, which means this would be a five and this would be a four, I guess. So five, four are my numbers, which is probably right, I guess now. <laughs> I put it back in, lock it up. Get this one out again, stick in, make the pin drop again to pull this one out. Twist this one to open this one up. Here we go. Put the rod inside, flip it back, cover on the top, this one down again. Drop the pin back in place, like so. Unscrew. Screw. Puzzle is back in the initial condition. I think for a first puzzle, definitely great. Difficulty rating, I would rate with a three out of a maximum of five on my personal difficulty rating scale. The only complaint I have, or the only thing I regret in this puzzle, 
and I mean, you know me, I would like to know exactly how everything works. In this case, it's impossible because everything is glued together. I can't have a look inside. It cannot be opened up. And this is one thing I really regret that I cannot understand in detail how it works. Does not making it a bad puzzle, but a small remark that maybe can improve with further puzzles by potentially perplexing puzzles. I can't remember that name. Let me know what you think about this detail. What do you think about the puzzle? What do you think about this review? And that's it for today. Until next time, keep on puzzling.